So I'm headed to Cuba tomorrow. I got some clothes to wash. Got the washing machine getting prepped here for that. This is real life. This is real life. I mean, you, you see you see stages, you see lights, you see um, big crowds. I mean, it's it, it, it can be uh, pretty impressive, impressive. But life is real. I just dropped off my three-year-old in preschool and I had to come back home. Had to throw a load of laundry into the uh, into the to the washing machine. Uh, I still got to pack my bags. I got to get all my documentation together, get my passport ready, uh, visa all filled out to, to head to Cuba. So, I mean, there's, you know, you see, you see as a musician, you see all the, all the, the, the fancy stuff, all the impressive things, the, the hour and a half to two hours on two hours that you're on stage. That's really, really like, wow. You know, you really captivate you. The fact is there's 22 more hours in that day. You got to be doing stuff. So this is real life y'all. I got my bag right there. Gonna be uh, packing this thing up soon. Just kind of, my, my office is a mess uh, today. Just got all kinds of stuff everywhere. This normally happens uh, right before I, uh, I'm, I'm getting ready for a trip. Uh, it's gonna be a quick one, uh, but very, very like, it's, it's, it's exciting. I've never been to Cuba before. Uh, a lot of people haven't been to Cuba before. So I have a great opportunity to, uh, to go to, on this trip and, and visit the beautiful island of Cuba. Uh, but it's a little bittersweet because it's this weekend is also NAM weekend, and uh, man, that's I haven't missed it in in nine years. Um, I, I I really wish that this trip was at a different time or NAM was the following week or something, uh, so that I wouldn't miss it because I absolutely love going to the show. Um, for those of you who don't know, NAM is uh, is an acronym for National Association of Music Merchants. It's the largest um, musicians and music trade show in the US, it's held twice a year, but the big one is in Anaheim, California every January. And so it's, it's happening, it's, it's starting tomorrow. Uh, man, I wish, uh, I wish I was going, but it's all good. Um, uh, there's always next year, there's always maybe even the one in the summer, in the summertime, uh, which is in Nashville. But, um, you know, Cuba, Cuba is happening. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I was a little bit nervous. Uh, I think I've gotten over the, the, the nerve stage um, only because of the, you know, the relationships uh, the governmental relationships between um, the U.S. and Cuba, but I'm I'm good now. I'm ready to go. So I got some packing to do. Got laundry to literally knock out um, because I just haven't had time to to do the laundry. And this is real life, man. I mean, I don't I don't have people doing this for me. Um, uh, I don't I don't pay a service or anything like that to have my stuff done. I you know I, I do it myself. I enjoy doing it. Really, um, it keeps me grounded. It keeps me understanding the value of hard work. The value of hard work. I mean, um, th there's nothing There's nothing that's more satisfying that pays off more than hard work. And so, you know, we're doing it. So um, I took my three-year-old to, to preschool just now. Um, uh, I'll, I'll pick her up in a few hours. I got a couple of errands to run, a couple of packages to send out, um, T-shirt orders that have been coming in, which has been phenomenal. Thank you for the support. So I've got to send those things out. I got to... Um, a pedal that I just sold on Reverb, which is which is uh, pretty cool. So I'm sending that out as well. So got a bunch of stuff to do today, uh, and then try to spend some some quality family time before I head out on this trip. Um, it's only a four day thing, so I'll be back quickly. But um, more to come once I hit Cuba. It's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to share um, the, the experience out there. Man, I gotta tell you, it's it's difficult to to pick out what which base to take to, to different events. Um, I mean, most of the stuff that I'm doing is, is usually five string. And, you know, I, I play um, I play this bass most of the time. This is my, my New York Bassworks RS5 um, jazz bass. This is my mainstay. This is, this is pretty much what I always take out. Um, but there's sometimes that, you know, I wanna give her a break because I use her so, so much. Um, and I absolutely love four strings. This is another um, New York Bassworks uh, bass. Uh, this is their, their newest offering, which is a P bass. A standard, just a standard volume and tone control precision bass. This thing is gorgeous, it plays amazing. Um, but you know, the stuff again, since I'm doing mostly five string, um, you know, bringing a four string really doesn't always work out for me. Um, so I'm gonna take my other beautiful bass um which i don't i don't play as often as i as i normally do because again my, my white bass is 
is actually a killing base, but again, another New York Baseworks um, base. This is a, a PJ configuration, so jazz base pickup here, precision base pickup up in the front. Um, it's got a uh, an Aguilar OBP3 preamp installed in it. Beautiful uh, Indian Rosewood fretboard with black inlays, candy apple red. This thing is matching headstock. I mean, it's an absolute gorgeous looking base, right? First of all, um, you go for the aesthetic thing, uh, but it, it plays it plays amazing. So. I haven't played this one in a while. So this is the one I decided I'm going to take to Cuba with me um, and just uh, kind of play over there and uh, do the workshop that I'm supposed to be uh, holding over over there as well. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. You get all these beautiful instruments. They all have different characteristics. They all sound a little bit different. Um, uh, the, the necks feel uh, amazing. I mean, there's, there's, there's extreme continuity. Between all, between the feel of the necks, which is, is super important for me, and then the other the other aspect is um, I play everything with, with a with a ramp, so most of my bases have ramps in them. So it's just it's just a piece of um, this one is a is a piece of plexi. But, you know, there's guys that make them out of wood. I do have a, a couple of them that have wood on them, but um, I have this ramp on here that I have the, the luthier put on uh, on the base because I, I've always liked to play on top of the, the pickup and I've liked to, I like to have that feel underneath my finger. And so to, to have the continuity of the feel in my right hand, I, I have them uh, build a ramp for me so that I can always feel something under my fingers and I don't dig in too deep and I'm able to control dynamics a little bit more with that. And um, I really do, it's, it's, there's muscle memory there. So when I play a bass that doesn't have a ramp, um, I don't play it as well, believe it or not, true story. Um, Cause I'm just, my muscle memory, for, for my both my, my my left and my right hand has to be there for me and so unfortunately I'm really dependent on on ramps right now and it's hard it's gonna be a long time for me to undo it so I'd rather just not not undo it and I'll keep it it become is it's become part of me it's become part of what I play and so like on a, on a four string like this um I pretty much always play on top of the pickup uh that's for me that's where the sweet spot is tonally what I the, the way that I like to hear these basses so I'm, I'm playing on top of uh of the pickup so i always have that that feel um underneath my fingers but um yeah these these are the bases that i that i normally take out the most um again the the the, the, the white base which her name is matilda i'll introduce you now many of you know her already but if you don't this is matilda uh, transparent white finish um ash body maple neck maple fretboard um black inlays just an absolutely an absolute player i'll play it for you guys soon um but yeah i mean this is this is part of the whole thing too so on top of doing laundry picking up the kids from school or taking them to school picking them up from school uh i'll be doing that shortly uh i gotta go get a haircut in a, in a little bit too so um you know picking out instrument packing my bags making sure i have the right clothes inside of my bag make sure that i'm packing for the right weather so i'm going to to the caribbean it's going to be beautiful it's going to be sunny uh high 70s into the 80s almost every single day uh i'm in new york right now it's winter time it's cold so i'm not going to need a, a hooded sweatshirt um or, or a big jacket or anything like that so i have to pack accordingly so that, that always becomes a little bit tricky when you're when you're uh, changing different uh environments when you're going below the equator you know and uh and really changing uh your uh the seasons and so um yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of it. So just another another thing to think about when um, when when packing and getting ready for a trip is again what instrument do I want to take, um, or it, you know what if it's something that I really don't um, I'm, I'm iffy about I'm iffy maybe about the conditions where I'm going to be playing if it's going to be on like a beach or something I I did a, I did a, I did a couple of, of beach gigs and absolutely killing on I mean I, if I could bring a, a $100 base to the thing I would because the salt. It, the salt just it just takes over the base it's, it's so horrible it's not not a pleasant thing to do um i, I wouldn't even do that but um uh, yeah just picking out picking out the right instrument and what to take is another big thing for me and you know when you have um when you have a nice collection you want to play everything but you can only take one so well you can take more but i'm only going to take one because that's what i travel i travel with one one base and i want it to do kind of everything for me so that's uh these New York Bass Works um, bases are what I primarily play, really. Um, and so, that, yeah, that's my thing. So I'm gonna take the red one. Her name is Ruby, by the way. So Ruby's coming with me. 
to Cuba. And uh, so I, I packed the bag already, got my cables, with everything, I, all the accessories that I need to take with me. And um, we're gonna get this thing started. So I gotta head out. I gotta go get a haircut now. So, you know, let's, the day continues. There's still more to go. All right, so here we go. We gotta go. Uh, I gotta get a haircut because can't 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 rock Cuba like this. It may not be very significant to you, but it's significant to me. I need to get a haircut, so we're gonna do that now. Let's get out of here. Um, gonna get a haircut, then pick up pick up the girls from school. We're out of here and do our thing. Man, it really is nice out here. The de the dead of winter really. We're in, we're in mid January, and it's like. Uh, I don't know, 50 degrees it feels like right now. We'll see. Yep. 54 degrees. 54 degrees outside. It is absolutely gorgeous. Nice and sunny. And so we're getting out of here. We're going to get out of here real soon. Um, got a few more things to do. Laundry, check. Instrument packed up. Accessories, check. Um my bag i still have to pack up my bag i gotta go to the post office um mail out some t-shirts that were ordered thanks for the support on the t-shirts if you guys um if you guys want a swing t-shirt you can check it out in the description below um it's on my my instagram account you can just send me a message and uh, i'll be happy to, to ship it out to you so we are we're gonna get out of here we gotta we still got some more stuff to do but yeah this is uh this is what it, this is what it looks like this is what it feels like this is life, man. This is the real deal. Um, no big lights, no big uh, speaker uh, systems, and you know, big old crowds. This is this is real, straight up life, man. Um, the hustle and bustle every single day. So let's get out of here. Now, hey, that is a good looking. Haircut right there. Done. Haircut down. I'm going to head to, I got a little bit of time. So I'm going to head to the post office real quick and um, send these packages. And then I'm going to head over to get the baby from school and then pick up the older one from school too. So we're getting out of here. Uh, it feels good getting things done. It feels good to be productive, knocking things off the checklist, the to-do list. And uh, we just got to be safe out there. It's just then we gotta get home and make some dinner for the family. Here's a little bit of history. I don't know if you guys like Entenmann's cakes, but this is the uh, this is the original factory of Entenmann's cakes. I know they're, they're being they're still being made, but they're being made elsewhere. But this was the original factory here on Long Island, where all the Entenmann's cakes used to be baked. And so they've. Uh, they sold the company, um, I want to say like 10 years ago now, almost, maybe maybe a little bit less, but they sold the company um, and they, they moved out of here, they moved out of this area, and along with it, a bunch of jobs, this area, th th that factory was so big um, that it employed a large population of this, this small town I live in here on Long Island, and uh, so they're no longer there, but the factory's still there, it was cool. When I was a kid, um, you used, used to smell the... Uh, the baked goods being baked, the, the aroma used to just envelop this whole area. So it was super, super cool to, to, uh, to just smell fresh cakes and uh, donuts and things being baked. And yeah, that's that's long gone now, unfortunately. But yeah, that, that was it. That was That's a big landmark out here in, where I, in the town where I live. So, so long, Intimates. Bye-bye. Here we go. Got the little one. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Uh, okay, maybe not. Little one's picked up. Onward. Got to pick up the big one now. Here we go. Hey, guys. Ah! All right, took a quick break. Going to get the car washed. I think it was a little dirty. Unexpected stop, but I was nearby, so I did it anyways. Later. Cool. So, still, still on the move. Picked up the older one. The older one's here, the little one's back there, knocked out. And uh, we're gonna grab a quick snack at McDee's. This is not a paid advertisement. And I normally wouldn't. 
want to eat this, but the kids want, look at these, so I'll get it. Being that I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'll do, I'll do one nice good thing before I leave today for my trip. So, this is the day in the life, y'all. This is the real deal right here. The real deal. My children's. Oh, all right, so we are home. Listen, oh, it's been it's been a pretty good day, pretty eventful. I mean, um, got a, got a lot of stuff done today. I mean, the car is clean. I hadn't 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 taken out to get clean for a while. Is it just me, or 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 do cars feel like they drive better when they're when they're washed? Eh, I don't know. Whatever. That's just the way it feels. So, gonna get back in and finish up some more stuff before we end this day. And uh, I still got packing to do, so get to it. All right, it's time to pack. I mean, uh, it's not a long trip. I'm I'm going from uh, Thursday. I'm coming back on Monday, but um, I, I usually travel with a small a smaller carry on that I don't carry on because I carry my base on. My base is my carry on. So I have to check my, my luggage bag in. Um, and what I normally do is I like to fold, I like to fold my pants, roll, uh, not fold them, roll them. So I start from the, from the tip and just kind of roll the pants up and I put them into a little side of the bag here. And I do that with all my jeans, all my pants. To, so I've already rolled this one up. And my jeans, on this. My shirts kind of do the same thing. You know, T-shirt. So I'll just uh, fold it, do a quick fold on it, and I roll it nice and tight. And then I find a little a little spot in here, and just drop that in there to uh, try to leave, make some space or make it as as compact as as possible. All the, the clothes that I take, not that I take a lot of clothes, but. I want to make sure that everything's fit, it's, it's snug, it's not moving around, it's not jumping around, um, and I can fit as much as I can, because what I also need to put in this bag here is this little pouch here. So this is actually a groove gear, um, a groove gear sleeve, they call this a sleeve um, that's for, for laptops, they put their laptops in here, but I'm traveling with the, with the preamp. Yeah, a couple of cables. Um, since I'm not gonna carry that on, I'm gonna pack it in here so it's protected, and I'm gonna stick it at the top of this bad boy and um, finish packing up. Here's my toiletry bag. The toiletry bag is nice and filled with the right things that I need. And I mean, I'm almost done. I'm I'm almost done. So I was able to to get a lot done today. Um, Got, got laundry, got two loads of laundry done. Um, thankfully, washed and dried. I was able to go to uh, to the post office and deliver some packages, some of the t-shirts that were ordered. I got those on their way. Um, I got the car washed, I picked up the girls, got a quick snack at McDonald's. Um, I'm gonna finish packing here. I wanna make some dinner and then I'm going to sleep because I gotta be up at, oh geez, uh, like three in the morning. Uh, the flight leaves at six. Um, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably take the train, take the train just to make things simple. And, uh, I don't have to spend too much money on, on parking the car and having it in places that it shouldn't be. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be up super early in the morning and, um, we'll start the trek over to the airport, get on that flight. Thankfully, whoo, thankfully y'all, I got upgraded. So I'm flying first class from, uh, from JFK to Miami, and then I'm flying again, first class from Miami to Cuba, to Havana, so it'll be good. Got food, I got nice nice uh, space on the on the, uh, the plane, plenty of leg room, I'll be able to lay down, relax, probably get some Z's, get a decent meal. I mean, it's, the food is not great by any means, but it's still better than, you know, a, a pack of peanuts and a, and a soft drink. I mean, you know, you, I'll, get a, I'll get a decent breakfast, and, um, I'll be able to relax, relax, relax a little bit. So the day continues. Um, still got to put the girls to sleep and take the baby a bath. Um, my wife Naomi is; she's got some things to do tonight. So um, 
playing daddy duty for the rest of the night, for the rest of the evening. Because, y'all, this is real life. I mean, again, uh, you know, all the stage stuff, all the lights, all the fanfare videos and pictures and uh, LED panels and all that stuff, man. That's that's so that's so such a small part of the day. Um, and that's what everybody kind of sees and appreciates and is, is like, oh, wow. But, man, this is the real this is life. This is the real deal. And I wanted to show you what kind of a day in the life uh, of, of Josh is. So uh, it will continue. Get a couple hours sleep and then we will start this journey to the airport together and uh, then off to Cuba we go. So. Mm.